Okay, this is Love Them Knives channel. Guess what? Guess what? I hit 23K uh, subscribers. And why it's not 25? Oh, I don't know. But I'm going to punish you for only 23. And this is the giveaway you get at 23,000. Just wait till 25 rolls around. Okay, get all your friends to sub. Yeah. Um, but I do appreciate it. This is for subscribers, by the way. Okay, so if you don't subscribe to my channel, you don't win. So hit the subscribe button. In fact, you may think you're subscribed and you're not. I've seen, I can't tell you how many guys have said, how did I not be subscribed? And I don't know. I mean, YouTube just goes through and clears dead wood or whatever. So subscribe, put a comment in the comment section. That's it. Now, on the 19th, I will draw winners. On the 19th, I will draw winners. So I will announce them in the afternoon of the 19th. So make sure your comments in the comments section, at least by the evening of the 18th, okay? Because you never know. I might get up early and pick the winners on the morning of the, of the 19th. So, yes, I appreciate you guys. It's it's a lot of fun. I mean, we do crazy shit on this uh, channel. And I know, I mean, maybe it's not to some people's taste. And then others really enjoy what we do because we do very unusual brands and different kinds of things. Now, so seeing as how this is not 25K uh, giveaway, which is going to be a more landmark type thing, we're going to do a 23K giveaway because can't stand it. I mean, I've spent all these months waiting to try and get to 25K, wanting to do a giveaway, and I just go, ugh, uh, let's just do something. I mean, I, I just got to juice it up, and we're still in all this COVID crap, so let's juice it up. Let's get it going. Now, here's my 10 prizes. 10 prizes. There's 10 winners. That's like one hand plus a whole nother handful of fingers, and... Uh, I can count that far, and then I'm in trouble. Ah, wasn't a math genius. So, like I said, subscribe, and then just put a comment in the comment section. Whatever you want to do, I, I don't care. Um, here's the prizes, though. Number one, and, you know, it, this was hard to kind of pick the order, actually, because a lot of these... You might go, oh, I'd rather have the Keen Natter than the Trask, you know? So let's hope you come in number five, right? Um, but this is how I lined them up. And I think it was easy to start. So we got the Spyderco Indella in K390. Really nice blade steel. Of course, it's not stainless. You got to take care of it. But um, yeah, this, this should really hold an edge for you. You're going to like it. It's basic. It's brand new in the box, you know. Um, the CRKT Trask has the deadbolt lock, Eric Oaks design, and I just did a video I haven't posted yet of this knife. Now, there is one little thing. It's off center. Uh, it's not hitting the liner, but it's a little off center. And even taking it apart and putting it back together didn't change it. But guess what? Let me give you a little advice. When you win this knife, take it put it in a little uh, baggy slip pouch thing in the mail and send it to CRKT. They'll fix it, replace it, whatever. So, I mean, basically you're gonna be okay. Um, and Asher Knives, number three, it's S35VN and we tested this one and it is real S35VN. I mean, they had the little thing for a while, but no, everything's cool. So their products, if they say S35VN, they are. And this is a frame lock here. So this is the Nomad frame lock and it kicks open really nicely. Uh, this is just a great lightweight little carry, but it's got super steel, deep carry, pocket clip, right or left hand side. That's number three. Number four is the Amari uh, Field Bro. And really, this Field Bro is really a great kind of access lock type knife with a VG10 blade. And I, I just really like it. I think they did a great job. Of course, it's made by Real Steel. And so, I mean, it's great. Um, Saviti Natter, and this is Olive Micarta, okay? So, and I almost, this is N690, Bowler N690 uh, blade steel. Yeah, 
So, I mean, this is so fidgety fun and, you know, Civivi, they're just really well-made knives. So if you're number five, uh, you're going to thrive. Now, uh, after that, oh, some lucky, lucky guy. Have you seen these? Have you seen these on these commercials, these the click ads that play on uh, YouTube and stuff? And the guy's taking this part and he's chopping aluminum wire and then he's, or maybe with this part, and then he's sawing with this part and this and this and this. And you can, you can undo this, right? It's got kind of an O-ring in it. And so then you can turn it at an angle, right? So you can, and there's more handle. You can do that and lock it in place however you want, okay? So I think it, I thought it was really, really cool. But the one I actually received doesn't look like the one they did in the ad. And I'm going, man, I think I got jacked. But, okay, so here's the thing. At the very, very end, and all these tubes screw on together, but this one here has a screwdriver on one thing and then uh, Phillips on the other. Okay, so you can use it like that. Also, it's got a saw that installs inside this right here and so this will go so it's a knife it's a saw it'll spear that kind of thing and it'll go in here and so all this stuff will fit together and then you can just rock and roll you know to your heart's content um so that's number six and it comes with a little you know thing to over the shovel and it's up for the tubes and everything. So that will be for number lucky six. Lucky six. Come here, lucky six. Let me tell you. Okay, lucky six. Uh, <laughs> here's, here's, you know, the picture. So this basically gives you what it looks like. Ah, it might be cool for somebody who wants to goof around in their yard and do this and that. Or take it camping or whatever. So... After that, what do we got? We've got the Almar Eagle. Now, this is a honey jig bone knife. It's nine inches overall. It's a four inch blade. It's a lock back. It's made in China. This is not the old original Japanese production. But I'll tell you what, and it's Aus 8 blade. This one's very smooth. This one's very smooth. Uh, they were trying to sell them at 100 a piece, but. I caught this one at uh, about 40 bucks, somewhere like that. And it comes with a leather, you know, slip pouch and all that. Actually, it really feels good. Okay, it really does. Full brass liners, all that kind of stuff. Nice box, too. Then, if, if you're moving down to number eight, you get the cannonball. And this is D2 blade, okay? It's got speed safe, so you just count yourself among the amongst the lucky to have a nice speed safe knife. But, okay. And guess what? The price is right. The price is right. And right and left hand uh, deep carry clip. Um, okay, number nine, Cold Steel Safe Maker 1. And, ooh, baby, that takes a jerk just to get that baby out of there. But Safe Maker 1, uh, made in Taiwan, Aus 8A steel, brand spanky new in the box. What do you think? Yeah. And last but certainly not least is the very small giant silkworm. And why they called it giant silkworm. I'd like to see the silkworm then, because this is not giant, but it's like a 3.3, 3.4 inch blade. Uh, it's fairly light. It's got the nice jade stuff and an axis type lock on it. So uh, no harm, no foul there. Those are the 10 prizes, guys. So uh, once again, you know, thank you so much for subscribing to my channel. Um, that really helps me. And also... You know, it, it's wonderful to interface with other people who really enjoy uh, knives. And I enjoy the hobby. I enjoy the fact that there's such a variety. There's so much creativity in the design and artistry in the manufacture. And with, you know, all, our, all the modern technology and everything, you can get a damn well-made knife for very little money, you know, overall. So I love it. 
I hope you guys stay well and stay good. It's a beautiful day outside in Tucson. It's 78. It's probably 80 degrees by now. It's supposed to hit 82 today. And it's uh, March 9th. So, whew. Um, and I'm, I'm loving it. I'm loving it. This is the best time of year for us. Take care. You know what we do around here. We love them knives, so you guys stay sharp.